Hi, I'm Brian Megaro with Livingston High School Theater, and uh, we are doing a production of Cinderella this year for our musical, and we decided to make a carriage uh, out of PVC pipe. And we discovered the PVC pipe uh, Bend It uh, is the brand, and we're using that to, uh, as you can see over here, bend the PVC pipe into the shape of kind of a pumpkin shape that we created here. And uh, we are also currently bending um, some wheels, so some twisted pipe on the ground here. Uh, to, to kind of represent the, the wheels of a carriage. So we have some straight pipe on the ground here. We have the PVC pipe bend it, and we're gonna um, insert this hot cable inside of the pipe. Uh, we're gonna wait about five minutes. It's gonna heat the pipe up, and then uh, we'll bend it. So I'm gonna plug it in now, and we'll be back once everything is hot. All right, so it's been about five minutes, and we have the uh, pipe nice and hot now, so we're gonna remove the uh, heating element. Um, the blue part is cool. The red there is to warn you that you're getting to the hot part, and this stuff right here is blazing hot. You don't want to touch it. Uh, certainly, if you're working in an environment where there's a vinyl floor or carpet or anything like that, I would not recommend that. This cable will absolutely melt it. We're on a stage floor here, and uh, it seems to be that uh, it hasn't really burned the stage at all, so we're, we're just going with it. I'm gonna unplug, because I don't have any more pipes to do after this. Remove it. Make sure that nobody touches it. And now we can go ahead and put our pipe into the shape that we want. So I'm going to connect it here. And then we're just creating these little swirls for the um, Cinderella's carriage. So I'm just going to kind of lay it around in a swirl. Uh-oh, the end didn't get hot enough. I'm going to have to reheat it, but you just hold it in this shape. And then uh, as the pipe cools, it will just be frozen in time. It'll just stay right in that shape and uh, you can pick it up and move it around, do whatever you want with it. You can see this one uh, stays in shape without any problem. So uh, again, we're making Cinderella's carriage and we'll uh, show you the final product when it's all done. So it's the day after our last show and here's the finished product. Uh, you can see all the PVC pipe we bent to uh, make, make you know wheels and the kind of designs of wheels in the front and back. But the cage area that we created here um, and then we just wrapped everything in lights. So that's our horse and carriage for Cinderella. We left a little opening here. So then there's a step, she can step up and uh, into the uh, seat there. And uh, we wrapped everything with lights, obviously. This is actually a, um, see if I can take a peek under there. This is actually a wheelchair. So we took a motorized wheelchair and I took some servos. Let's take a look at those. Took some servos and put them onto the joystick portion. So there's two servos there, and this is the joystick from the wheelchair. Um, I have a little switch over here that'll power up the receiver, and then we can power up the transmitter. Here's the transmitter, power that up. And that should bring it to life. And then it's just as simple as, you know, when I push forward, it pushes forward on the joystick left and right really simple you know left right forward and backwards um, right now I have the actual wheelchair, wheelchair portion off and uh, so if I flip this back down I gave Cinderella a little button up here so in case anything went wrong let's get the fabric out of the way um, we are powered up on the wheelchair right now should anything go wrong she's able to just tap this button behind her and shut down the wheelchair. So that would bypass all of, all of this stuff going on. As soon as you turn off that button, the brakes on the wheelchair are enabled and uh, anything that I do with the, the radio frequencies would no longer matter as far as moving the carriage. So that's how we did it, nice and simple.